Hello everybody, welcome back. I've got a flip through to share with you guys. This is um, a project that I recently completed with my patrons over on my Patreon channel. Um, and I want to first of all say thank you to Dawn uh, for um, gifting me this gorgeous uh, bee kit. Um, Dawn is over at the Vandal, the Book Vandal Shop. And I'm going to put Dawn's link in the description box below. This is a kit that she has created, and she's named it Honey Blossom, and it is absolutely stunning, guys. Um, she knows I like uh, bees, and so she contacted me, and, and I just thought it was so generous of her. She gave me this kit to work with, so I wanted to um, come out and share with you guys how I have used it and I want to put the link in so that you guys can go over and check it out because it is a beautiful, beautiful kit. Um, so thank you Dawn, that was so sweet and generous of you. Okay, so the front, um, as I said, this is a project that I've created from start to finish with my patrons and um, it is all created from a mailer that we can, you know, we all get those through the mail, and I've kind of named it a journal slash lap book. So what I've done on the front here is just, um, I've made this space that you could add some writing to, and just a little closure there with a charm, a bee charm of course, and then I've got Sorry Silk Closure, and then on the back here, I've created uh, a pocket and then a tag. So you can do some writing in the back. And this one <clears throat> is a little bit different from what I've been doing because the journal portion of it, I've left this uh, completely blank um, because the papers are just so beautiful that I thought it would be fun just to leave this uh, for somebody who genuinely journals, it's going to give them a lot of writing space. And look at the images on that. Aren't they just beautiful? I think it's, um, in my mind, it's more of a whimsical bee kit. And it's just, um, the colors are absolutely gorgeous on this. Very fresh, very spring-like. Um, just a, a really, really beautiful kit. Um, Got the daisies. I love all of the colors. And look at this paper. Isn't that beautiful? So that's why I decided just to leave the um, the journal itself just plain for whoever receives it. They can do some writing. So what I did, I started on here with just this little flap. And let me zoom up so you guys can hopefully see more of it. Um, got some... This is all lined paper, and that way you can do some secret writing. And then these are little elements from the kit. This is a little envelope with the journal card, and I didn't want to glue it because I thought the recipient might want to um, have it opened up for just uh, private uh, writing. So I've just put it in here in this little space. And then this flips. over here and we've got um, a large pocket there look at that image and then I just made a um, just a little journaling card and my thinking was that it I wanted it to be large enough so that um, maybe photos could be added to this and then leave enough room so that um, the journal portion of it could just be for the writing and everything like memorabilia and things could be added to these pockets and tucks. So here we've got a um, little journal card and I've added charm here with a bulb pen and one of the key tags. So you can do some writing there. And that just tucks in, and then this flips over, and these images are so pretty. I didn't want to cover them up, but whoever uh, gets this could add more pockets if needed. There's quite a few in here, believe it or not, though. Um, here, I've got a 
this is an embossed tag that I've inked and just added some of the elements from the kit to. And then this little, this has got a little expandable coin pocket and I've just added some more of the journal cards from the kit. She's, it's a very big kit. Uh, very generous uh, with tags and journal cards and lots of things that you can cut out and use uh, to decorate with. And then here I've got um, this flips over and then this is another little journal card and I've just done some stitching around that. And then here we've got a couple of little tags on this and this flips over and then here is another pocket with another journal card tucked away. And a couple more pockets here with tags and journal cards. Um, some of the <coughs> elements in here I have pulled from other kits, but, but the majority are from this, um, this kit, uh, the Honey Blossom kit. So just a few things here and there that I've um, been trying to dwindle down and here's another journal card that's tucked into this window pocket which I love that flips up and more lined paper here so you can do some more private journaling <coughs> excuse me and look at the little honey jars and she's got these beautiful sayings on it and you get several of those and then the little bingo card so I back, on the back of this, I've made a couple of pockets here and just added a large tag. And then this flips down, and then I've added all of these little flips on the front portion of this. And then as I said, we've got a two signature journal. Um, can't think off the top of my head how many pages, because it's been a while since I um, added that portion, but it will be in the listing. So here I've got two more little um, pockets that you can add some things to. Those are empty, but I just left them so that they could have other things added to them. And I just love this paper so much. And then here I've got a nice big um, expandable pocket so you can add more things to it. And then I've added this. This is from the kit. And then I made a little altered guest check and then this is one of the tags from the kit. Got a rib, um, eyelet and some seam binding. I just think the colors are so pretty especially with all of the gray weather that we're having right now. It just makes you feel so happy looking at this. So here I've just taken um, another envelope and uh, stitched around it. Made a nice big journal card here. You could do some writing here if you wanted. She's got the lined papers that come with it, as well as the plain, and it's just beautiful. So this, I've got a little pocket here with an envelope, and this is part of the kit as well. Isn't that sweet? It's got some lines on the back, and that tucks in. And I love the little library card, so I just added a little snippet there. So this flips over, and then we've got another tiny tag tucked in here. And you get a whole sheet of these beautiful labels. So Dawn, it's, it's a beautiful kit, really well thought out. And then on the back, we've got another pocket here, another tag from the kit. And then I just added one of the little Tim Holtz uh, stitched slot die. It's a mouthful. And then I just added some little things here and there. Like I said, just bits and pieces that I've had. Um, this is from the kit. And I think that looks really pretty there. So that flips over, and then here I've got another large pocket with this tag from the kit in it. And then on the back here I've made this 
altered tag that tucks in. And then over here, this is really fun. Um, she includes, for those of you who don't have one of the slotted um, dies, she includes this, and it's so easy to do. You can just punch that out and open the, the slats up with a um, utility knife. And I've just added lots of little bits and pieces here that you can use throughout while you're journaling. I just thought it'd be really fun just to have all of the ephemera in the front and back cover so that whoever gets this can just have everything there that they need. Another little journal card tucked in there. And then here, again, like I said, she's so generous. Isn't that beautiful with the definition? Uh, with all of the journal cards and elements, it, it is a, such a fun kit. <clears throat> I can't, you know, I know it's, it's just one I know I'm going to use many times. And like I said, just this is another little tag from the kit and another of the little library cards. Isn't that beautiful? So this, I've just added all of these little elements in here. And then another, um, this is another embossed tag that I've, oops, let me see here. And that's been inked and embossed. That slides up in here. And then this flips over, so you could do some more writing there if you wanted to. And then I made another envelope here. Um, and this one's got big tag in there. So again, you could add a really large photo on the back of that. Get some stenciling, and then this flips up, and you've got a couple more, a tag and another element uh, journal card there. And then I love the image. I just, I just this side, I thought I would just leave it blank because the image is so beautiful. So that flips down. And so there it is, guys. This is, I've called this, um, a, uh, the course is a journal a journal making from a mailer, and uh, we we kind of as we got going through it, we kind of renamed it, you know, slash lap book because it's um, it's just a really fun little journal, and so it measures. It's pretty big, guys. Um, about five and a half by eight and a half. And the spine is about two inches, and then this is how it looks on the side because you've got those nice big areas you can see that are just full of bits and pieces to be worked with and added to it. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you are interested in purchasing this, it's going to be in my Etsy, or not my Etsy shop, um, my website <clears throat> in the description box below. It's got a link to my shop. And so if you're interested, that will be in there. And if you are interested in what's happening on my Patreon site, please check out the link below. It, um, it'll take you over there. I've got a little intro video now to kind of show you um, a little sampling of what we're doing. So those of you who maybe uh, have been curious about it and weren't really sure what Patreon is, uh, just hop on over and have a look. There's no commitment. You can join at any time and you can cancel if you find that you know circumstances have changed or it's just not your thing you can cancel there's no commitment so um thank you guys so much i hope everybody is well out there i've got a project using this kit coming up very soon we're going to do a tutorial so i will be back soon you guys take care bye bye